Hello everyone, Z3, KO Trinity here. Sorry for the long video, the last video, so I'm going to try to make this one a lot more brief. So, yeah, let's begin. This stack starts with Alice, Sweet Alice. I really enjoyed this movie. It's an old school scary movie. Um, very, very creepy, and the way that it was filmed was very disturbing. But my problem with it is that it drags... And it's really slow paced. It's like you really have to like give in to the story and really just don't get bored by it. Because it does have a pretty, like a real intense ending. Uh, it kind of has one of those endings where you can interpret what you think uh, is going to happen from then on. But it's a pretty messed up movie. Really great horror classic. I gave it a 5.4. It Follows actually surprised me whenever I saw the trailers and stuff. I personally thought it was going to be a 4.0 kind of movie. And I gave it a shot and I was blown away by how creative this movie is. How unique it is. And it was definitely a really interesting story. And immediately what I loved about it is from the very beginning of the movie, it really grips you and pulls you into the story. So I really like that. The cinematography in it, it was really good. Um, the score to it is very good. So I was highly shocked at how good this movie was. I really enjoyed how it ended and everything, so I gave it a 9.0. I didn't feel like it was a perfect 10, but yeah. Next up we have The Beautiful Creatures. And this one I'm going to get hate for, and I already know it, but... I truly love this story. It's one of my favorite stories of all times. I've read the books. Uh, absolutely fell in love with this story. I had went to theaters to see it um, a long time ago. I used to actually have a dream about a girl that I had no idea who she was or anything like that. So immediately whenever I seen that this was kind of like that, where he was dreaming about a girl he had never met... I was like, oh, okay, I can kind of relate to that. And uh, what was really unique about this story is that it does focus on a love story. I mean, it is a love story, but at the same time, it really focuses on a fantasy and really focuses on the story itself instead of spending a lot of time about the romance and stuff like that. But what's really unique about this story is that whenever... Like I said, I, f I felt like I had a strong connection to the story, and it actually takes place in South Carolina. And little did I know, my true love was actually in South Carolina. So, this movie, in a way, is like trying to tell me something. So I thought that was really unique, and um, I just love the story so much that I personally give it an 11 out of 10 just because it is my one of my absolute favorite stories. No, this movie was not perfect at all, and I know I'm going to get hate for it, but to me, this story will shine above, above others. So, yeah, that's just my own personal opinion. Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. I really enjoyed this movie. Very, very funny. One of Rob Schneider's bests. Um, definitely ain't his absolute best, but this is one of his best movies he's been in. And just, I, I loved every moment. It's so entertaining. And in its own way, I gave it a 9.0 because it was just so entertaining. Next up, we have the sequel, Deuce Bigelow, European Gigolo. Once again, super funny movie. I didn't quite like it as much as the first one, but it was kind of neck and neck. They both had their own ways to them. So I gave that one an 8.5, just really funny. Then we got Tremors, the first movie. Um, I only own the four-pack thing, uh, plus the other two movies, but we watched the first Tremors movie, and just a classic, absolutely wonderful story. Love the characters, love the cast. Um, just the cinematography is really great. Um, I just, I really enjoyed everything about it. It was a solid 10 for me. Next up, we have the first classic Nightmare on Elm Street. Once again, classic movie. Uh, it's going to be a movie that goes down in generation upon generation. 
Just Wes Craven is the king of, well, I would say king of horror, but it's kind of biased. He's one of my absolute favorite directors. But Nightmare on Elm Street is just something that everyone should know. And it was just so well done. I had to give it the 10. Um, yeah, we watched a lot of 10-star movies, so... <laughs> so this episode's kind of like a 10-star episode, but or high-rating episode. But yeah, just can't beat the first one. Uh, well, I'll just give you something else to look at besides my carpet. Well, it's a rug, really, but... Next up, we have the movie Devil All the Time. Uh, finally got around to watching it. Such a brutal and hard movie to get through. I've seen worse, but it was still kind of hard to get through. But man, the acting in this movie was just so incredible. Everyone really gave their all in this movie. It is such a gripping story from beginning to end. You really don't know where it's going to take you, but it's just a very good movie. Loved everything about it, so I gave it a solid 10 out of 10. Next up, we have The Babysitter Killer Queen. I've already seen the first one a long time back, and I'm going to rewatch it again just so I can give you guys a perfect review of it. But I recently watched this one, and this one definitely did not live up to the same feeling as the first movie. Yeah, it was comical, but honestly, I did feel it was unnecessary. But the way that the story had went, I really am glad that they did what they had done. I'm trying not to spoil nothing in case you want to watch it. But just, I, I really enjoyed it, but it's... It, Definitely had a lot of flaws, especially those little video game kind of things that they threw in there. It just I just weren't feeling it, so I gave it a 5.8. Still a good movie, but it weren't like the greatest. And finally, the last movie I watched for this set list is Soul Plane. And you cannot go wrong with Soul Plane. If you just are having a bad day, need a good laugh, that's, the mo that's a go-to movie that you guys need to go to. So funny, amazing cast, amazing story, just such a feel-good movie. I'm giving that one an 8.0 because it was really, really good and really funny. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Z3KO Trinity. Hope you enjoyed the reviews. I tried to make it a little bit more quicker, and I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Papa Dooska Bapa looks.